nyo. Tagal ko lang din gumawa ng YouTube video. <laughs> Today, I will be answering the most common question I get, which is basically about me. Isang Koreana na magaling magtagalog. Magaling? Very subjective. I got a list of the frequently asked questions I get about my language, about Tagalog and Filipino, and me being Korean, Chuba Chuba, Chuba Chuchu, like that. Koreana ka ba? Or Filipina? Or Japanese? Or Chinese? Or may lahi? Ano ba talaga? First of all, <laughs> so I am full Korean. Do not be misled sa aking pananagalog. Pananagalog? Wow. I am Korean. <laughs> Like, full Korean. Pareho magulang ko po ay Korean. Like, dito sila pinalaki. Pero na-transfer lang sila for work opportunities to the Philippines. I'm not Japanese. I'm not Chinese. I'm not Filipino. I'm Korean. Bakit ang galing mo mag-Tagalog? Hmm. Ayoko magmukhang mayabang. Pero feel ko naman, magaling ako mag-Tagalog. <laughs> pero hindi ibig sabihin nun, magaling ako sa subject na Filipino or Tagalog. Kasi ang dami kong malalalim na words na di ko alam. Lalo na nung nag-PI 100 ako, halos namamatay na po ako dun sa subject na yon Kasi ang lalim magtagalog ng prof ko. Like yung prof ko noon, sobrang mahal na mahal niya talaga yung tinuturo niya. Dahil doon, much prefer niya magtagalog. Mas dama mo daw yung tinuturo niya, yung history ng... Oh my god, ewan ko. Basta ang point nun is... Umiyak ako everyday habang gumagawa ng readings or gumagawa ng essay doon. Kaya Google Translate ko lang. <laughs> Sa lahat po ng mga prof ko na nakatanggap ng Tagalog essay, pasensya na po na minsan walang sense. Kasi sinulat ko po yan in English, ginugal Translate ko lang. So, bakit ako magaling mag-Tagalog? I was born here in Korea, pero halos parang hindi na rin. <laughs> Basically, I was 4 years old in Philippine age or international age when I transferred to the Philippines. So, I was a little child. I was a baby. Alam mo yun, fresh. Fresh pa yung utak ko. Alam mo naman, pag bata, sobrang madali mag-absorb, di ba? Ng bago knowledge. Lalo na yung language. Yeah, so I think that's one of the reasons why I'm very good at Tagalog. Another factor would be yung place na tinitirhan namin noon. Wala kaming malaking Korean community <laughs> kasi hindi ako taga Manila. Back then, the Korean wave was not a big thing yet. So, wala masyadong Korean media or Korean language or Korean people in general sa Philippines. So, we didn't have much of a big Korean community. Yun. So, since yung mga kapitbahay namin ay Filipino, mga kanaro ko ay Filipino. Tanda ako, the first time we ever went to our house, like the first day na first day na pagkarating pa lang namin sa Pilipinas, may kapitbahay kami nun. Merong isang bata doon, isang babae. She was around our age. And we instantly, instantly made friends. Nagurat na lang yung parents ko na bigla kaming nawala. Kami ng kapatid ko. Nasa na mga anak ko? In this foreign country, I lost my kids. Something like that. So asan kami? Naglaro kami ng habol-habulan. Hindi ko alam kung habol-habulan or like nag-coloring book kami sa loob ng bahay ng kapitbahay namin. Kids really amaze me. Alam mo yun, hindi kayo magkaintindihan pero G na G pa rin makipaglaro. I love that for me. I was more exposed to Filipino communities or like I was less exposed to Korean communities. Third reason is we did have a Tagalog tutor no elementary or... Hindi ko alam kung elementary or pre-elementary, like mga prep, ganun. Tandang-tanda ako, proud na proud ako, nalaman ko ibig sabihin ng word na pangalan. Kasi parang sobrang nasukta ako doon na parang, oh, pang-ngalan. Like, pang-ngalan siya. Like, pangalan. May sense ba ako? Marunong na ako mag-Tagalog doon. Yung first malalim Tagalog word na nalaman ko is the word pangalan. And I was like, oh, I have to use it. So because of friend ko, bigla sabi ko, An, anong pangalan mo? Sabi niya, ha? Tumawa lang siya kasi, alam mo yun, tinawag ko na yung pangalan niya eh. Tapos tinanong kolit ko anong pangalan niya. Medyo, feel ko tinignan niya ako na bobo ka ba, Juwan? Like, valid, valid girl. Pero ayun, yun yung unang malalim Tagalog word na nalaman ko. 
Noon naging elementary na ako to high school, marami ng foreign students noon. Since marami ng foreign students, there was an option to like opt out of Tagalog or Filipino classes. Be in a separate class where they teach you basic Filipino kasi may rap catch up kung hindi ka marun mag Tagalog, di ba? Hindi ko yun tinik. I just took the Filipino class with all my fellow classmates for two reasons. First of all, may bayad. <laughs> may extra bayad yun. And, I mean, nagbabayad ka rin ng tuition. Bakit pa magbabayad ng extra para sa separate class? <laughs> Yung second reason is, medyo overachiever ako nung panahon na yun. I was a typical Asian panganay anak na kailangan magaling mag-aral, ganun. As I remember, if you take the separate class, Yung highest na makuha mo is line of 80. Yung goal ko kasi dati yung report card ko is like all of 90. Ganon. So parang... Nope. I mean, hirap na hirap ako sa mga Filipino classes nun. Pero... Mali mo, ba? Mali mo maka 90 ako. <laughs> and since pumunta ako ng Philippines since like 5 years old, hanggang graduate ako ng college, ang tagal-tagal ko rin po andon. <laughs> I think I was there for around 19, 20 years. And I barely went back to Korea because... Those are the reasons why I'm good at Tagalog. Pwede ko bang sabihin na magaling mag Tagalog? I'm magaling mag Tagalog. I think. I feel like. Compared to other people. Kinumpara! Shut up. Compared to my parents. <laughs> Speaking of parents, marunong mag Tagalog yung pamilya mo. Yung nanay tatay ko, hindi sila masyado magaling mag Tagalog, but they can understand Tagalog and English. And dami rin nagtatanong if paano pumupunta ng palengke yung nanay ko. What do you mean? <laughs> Puta siya palengke. Bibili. Magpapadiscount. Ayun. And then yung kapatid ko, very similar kami mag Tagalog. Yung kapatid ko is the most comfortable person I can talk to. Kasi I can switch three languages in any moment and he will perfectly understand me. Alam mo yun, bigla na lang shift na language to like ganyan. Tapos bigla magiging hanggang malodem yun doon, kentang ko, pelos, hanggang ko. We understand everything each other. Like we ihe each other, you get. Ganon. Ganon. How many languages do you know? So I do know Korean, English, and Tagalog. Those are the three languages I know. If I were to rate how good I am at all of those languages is... I would say I am mediocre in all three. I love you saying the jack of all trades, master of none. That's me. If I were to rank them in the ranking of how comfortable I am per language is... It really depends on the situation. Like if it's like academics, like sa school to, like gagawa na essay, English. Kasi like formal academic writing in Tagalog or Korean, I cannot understand. The conversational one is... Like, yung pag-uusap lang day-to-day -day life um, is probably Tagalog with a little bit of English. Di ko lang alam kung ako lang to. Pero, kunwari, nasa situation ako na kailangan ko mag-speak ng English. Di ko magawa. Di ko alam bakit. Like, dati, kunwari, ang kausap ko, konyo or like, English speaker siya. Meron akong weird, um pressure na, oh, I should speak English as well because she's speaking English to me. Hindi ko malabas yung English. Sobrang kating kati ako magtagalog for some reason kapag feel ko ba wala ako magtagalog. I don't know why. Also here in Korea, if I'm talking to someone who's like Korean Korean, I'm just like, I really want to speak English to you. I really want to speak Tagalog to you, but I can't because you cannot understand me. Kapag ba nananaginip ka or nag-iisip ka mag-isa, ano lengguahe ginagamit mo? Actually, ito... Hindi ko talaga masagot. First of all, kapag ba nananaginip kayo, may sense ba yung panaginip nyo? <laughs> Naalala nyo ba? Kasi yung mga panaginip ko, parang biglang may tikbalang, tas lalabas ako, biglang nandun yung school ko, tapos biglang na-jump ako to the ocean, nagbo-boat riding, ay... Magulo! Ganon yung mga panaginip ko. Like, wala akong time i-process yung mga nangyari. Hindi ko nga alam kung umiimik ako dun eh. Hindi ko nga alam kung nagsasalita yung mga tao sa panaginip ko eh. At 90% of the time, Hindi ko maalala. <laughs> so, hindi ko po masagot. <laughs> and second, kapag ba nag-isip ako mag-isa or yung inner voice ko, anong lingwahe? Lahat. Like all three. Like a mix of all three. Like, iroke, saan ka kada ka? Kapagi, yung ano bako mo? Like, biglang papadang ko to Tagalog. Tapos, kung ano man yung, hindi ko maalala yung word. Ganun. 
how long did it take you to learn a language like Tagalog or Korean or English like that? This question I get from like different people like um, fellow Koreans who also want to learn Tagalog they ask me how long it took me or how I learned Tagalog that way and then others would like ask me like how long it took me to learn English this way or Filipinos would also ask me how I learned Tagalog or uh, how I learned to learn Korean like if I have any tips Pasensya na po Pero hindi ko po alam. Like, I have so much respect to people who learn new languages. Especially yung mga friends ko na very into like K-pop. They never took official classes on Korean, but they know how to speak to a certain degree Korean. And I'm just like, how? How? How do you learn Korean like that? I just know three languages because I was exposed to it when I was young. So I don't really know how to learn a new language. Anyway, that is the video for today. It was mostly Q&A based on a theme, which is language. Bye! Hindi ko alam kung magagamit ko itong video na ito kasi masyado lang akong dumadal. Hindi ko alam. Bahala na. Anyway, bye!